Hi, Wayne Mortensen here. Um, I'm an attorney here in Arizona, and today I'm talking about bankruptcy superpowers. You know, bankruptcy is a powerful area of law. It's an area of law that a lot of people don't understand. Um, it's an area that is powerful in the effect that it, it, it can impact all other areas of law. If a bankruptcy is filed, there are certain rules and requirements, things that must be followed precisely, or it can lead to very big problems for not only debtors, but creditors. And so today I want to talk about two of the superpowers that bankruptcy has. Now, the first one I will start out by saying is the automatic stay. So let me give you a hypothetical. A client comes in the office and he's behind, let's say he lost his job, doesn't have income, something happened in his life and he's behind on, for example, his car payment. And he comes in, he doesn't want to lose his car, and he asks you as the attorney, what can I do so I can try to keep my car and get it caught up? Well, a, the filing of a bankruptcy, if you do that, will stop a creditor from getting that vehicle, okay? This is the automatic stay, and that's how it works. Under Section 362 of the Bankruptcy Code, once a bankruptcy is filed, all creditors and collection efforts have to stop. And so what happens is if a client comes in and says, I'm in danger of losing my car, I will discuss with the client what his options are under the Bankruptcy Code, and I will tell him what I recommend. Once we file that case, let's say we file a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, that stay will go into effect, and the creditors cannot touch that um, car and do anything. Another example, a client comes in and they say, hey, Wade, I'm, I got behind on my credit card, I got sued, and now the creditor is garnishing my wages. They're taking you know 25% of my wages, and I can't afford to live anymore. What will bankruptcy do? Once I file that bankruptcy, the automatic stay goes into effect to protect the stock, to protect that asset, and the garnishment must stop immediately. There's no please, there's no question, it stops immediately. And if the creditor doesn't stop it, they're going to have to go answer to a bankruptcy judge as to why they didn't stop. Now, that's the automatic stay. That's the number one power. So let's go with, along with the example of you've had to file a bankruptcy to stop a garnishment. You go through the process, and then you get your discharge in bankruptcy. Your discharge in bankruptcy happens right here, and then what happens? Okay, once the discharge is entered, the automatic stay is no longer in effect, and now the discharge injunction comes into play. And so what the discharge injunction says is, hey, you were listed in a bankruptcy, your debts were discharged in the bankruptcy because they were not accepted from discharge, and there's specific ways to get a debt accepted from discharge, but your debts were discharged in this bankruptcy, so now there's an injunction. Okay, you can no longer do anything to the debtor or his assets to go try to get your judgment paid, okay, or your debt paid. And that is where the discharge injunction comes into play. So, for example, your wages that are right here, they are protected, okay? Creditor can't say, hey, you're out of bankruptcy, now we're going to go ahead and continue to garnish your wages. No, nope, the debt's been discharged and the discharge injunction applies. Creditors, both here, and here have to be very, very careful. It can get very expensive, very fast in bankruptcy court for creditors who ignore these separate powers. Okay, so it is really important if you're on the creditor side of things to get good legal advice and find out what your rights and responsibilities. As a debtor, though, you have rights and responsibilities too, and you have to follow those. You know, the bankruptcy court comes into play. And it can do a lot for you, and the bankruptcy code can do a lot for you, but expects you to follow the rules. My name is Wayne Mortensen, and I'd love to talk to you about the automatic stay and the discharge injunction and how it can help you to get out of debt and protect your assets in the meantime. Thank you.